Mm -hmm. You would have set up the thing so till when you do the actual thing, you discover something you never know. Uh, 15 seconds. Yeah. You can see the call now out there. You can see the call. Yeah. 10, Ten. 9, mm -hmm. 8, 5, 4, deal. We're ready. 3, 2, 1, showtime. Good afternoon and greetings to all the viewers and listeners out there on Primal 4K app. Welcome to Primal Sports Center. I'm your host, Dale. And I'm Ken the Schwab Watson. We have another exciting episode for you this week. You know where you're every Saturday from? What time? From 3 to 4.30. And I mean, tune in. Remember, after the calling, after sports commentaries, feel free to call in. We need more callers into people. And I mean, most definitely. Most yeah, definitely. We want to hear from you. We have the feedback. We have the Facebook. And we definitely know what's going on out there. But we'd like to hear from you personally on the show. And today's lineup for the show, Dale? Yes, we will have the, the, the legendary footballer from Jamaica, mm -hmm. former reggae boys, Paul Tiga Davis. Yeah, he, he you know, give he, us, you know, his career as a footballer. We see him now as a coach, but a lot of people don't know that he was a top striker as my Producer would say a goal rat back back yeah. in his day, you know. So yeah, he was um he played an integral role in, in our qualification yeah. for the World Cup in 1998. Mm -hmm. A lot of people wouldn't have wouldn't know about that that part. Um, Tiga Davis was there in the earlier rounds. Mm -hmm. Um, help us to qualify in the earlier stages mm -hmm. during that campaign mm -hmm. with Rene Simois. And, and I think I've I got much credit as one of our best footballers ever in terms of I mean, yes. what he has produced for the reggae boys and also playing for Siba and the likes of, you know. Played also a little international football. Yeah, broadcasting well. Jamaica to the world as a footballer. And, I mean, and he was our all-time leading goal, goal scorer until, before Luton and Shelton, Shelton yeah. took over that, that, that spot. Yeah. You know, and yes, yeah, so he will be speaking with us in about five minutes' time. And he'll he'll give us a rundown of, yeah. Yeah, of, great, of what great, it is, great, 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 what great it was, footballer. and what it is now. So, yeah. But, you know, the big show will kick off in three weeks' time. Mm -hmm. We'll work up, and we'll talk a lot of football this week. Um, work up starts November 20th and runs through to December 18th. And my co host, Dale, has his predictions. I mean, breakdown bit by bit from group stage leading straight up to the finals. And I have my breakdown. So, we'll be sharing that later on in the show. And, I mean, there's never a tournament without upsets. So, be stay tuned for those shocking upsets we of have. Course, of course, I know course. Jamaicans have a lot of Brazil supporters, you know. Yeah. I myself am an Italy supporter, so I, I have to kick back and, and watch this trip and see who will lift the title. But I, I mean, I think this year is going to be a historical year, mm -hmm. um, within the World Cup. I think it's going to be a surprise, a surpriser, you know, the team mm -hmm. that most people mm -hmm. love and hate at the same time, you know, right here in Jamaica. So Mm -hmm. I'll be going with the with Mr. Saltgate. Yeah. Mr. Wow. Saltgate. That, that's yes. shocking for me. England. Yes. It says coming yeah. home. Yes, man. A lot of things happened this year in, in, in England. So oh, yeah. I'll, I'll be rolling with the British this time around. I don't want to put my, <laughs> my sports commentator career on the line. But if England wins, <laughs> I'll probably have to run straight through that door without opening <laughs> it. But I don't see England winning. And I'm definitely not an England supporter. And... They're definitely not on top form. And farm is farm. One thing we know, if you depend on farm, you have to go with the farm house. And England to me is a perennial failure, so to say. And I don't see where they will I, I lift the title, but they have a decent draw. That, that's and what I'm looking is at. all about draw. Yes, it's all Tournament about the draw. That's what I'm about looking at right here. And I'm looking mm. at the draw, and I see that it's more favorable for, for England. You know, mm. they have a somewhat of a cakewalk in my eyes you yeah, know but even so you have to play the matches yes you have yes, to play yes. the matches so i mean but we're going to talk more about that later, later on. on but, but we, we, we need, there's something happening there's something big happening here local in terms of our football high school football mm -hmm. you know kingston college is about to, to face off <laughs> Jose against Jose Martin. yeah Manning cup we're in the second round and the winners of these home and away matches will go on to the group stage at so-called quarterfinals and Kingston College was locked in a nil all deadlock in the first leg and playing the second leg currently. But some juicy match coming up and Man Cup is, is running to form where we'll have some top schools playing their trade in that group stage. And I can't wait to see who makes it through. I think 
Kingston College will win the match later yeah. on today. Match should be oh should be on the way right now. Yeah, should, yeah. Should pick yeah. off. Yeah. About in the next two, two or three. So three a lot minutes. of football on the cards, and we that's why for one we'll be talking to a footballer soon. Yeah. So I think it's time now that we. Yeah, I think we we have Paul T. Got Davis online. Yes, like so we. Do. We would like to welcome to Primal Sports, Paul yeah, Tiga Davis, you, you know, former yeah, yeah, Jamaica football. representative, football representative, um, also former leading goal scorer for the country yeah, back in the day. Sure. So I welcome to Primal Sports Center, Paul. It's good to be here. Good, right, good to be on your program, that, that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time out. We know you're a busy I man. Mean, to me, it's a top Many people see you now and see as a coach, but growing up, I used to hear the name, see you playing. I'm making some big moves. I know all the accolades, but before we get into where you are now, we want to know where it all started, because, I mean, football is a passion for you, and we like to see where people who used to play the sport are still involved in the sport, whether it's coaching or in and around the sport. So we want to know where the love for football started, and, I mean, where did Paul Tigat Davis just fall in love with football? It, it, it really came natural. It really came natural as, as a kid, you know. You know, nine year old, love the football, just play box football on, 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 on the street, you know, with friends. But um, one day, Ali Matna brought a, 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 a flim, Pepsi flim with Pele. I guess you guys might know that flim. Yeah. With Pele, yeah man. When I when I came out of that video session, believe me, it's like we, we were playing some football and it was like, I was Pele. I gravitate to everything, you know. That I saw on the on the on the on the video, you know, but you know, really started it Polish shoot club as a little kid, you know. That was the only football we knew then, uh, our organized football growing up. Polish shoot club. So I don't think people nowadays are going to Polish shoot club no more because I don't know if they're afraid of police or <laughs> yeah. the police they don't want to, you know, come amongst them no more. But it was a pleasure growing up in 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 those era because we had a little brought up there. Yeah. Then I left the police youth club and went to Arnett's. It was coached by Steve Butner. I, you know, and I, I give him most of my props to where I am right now because, you know, he, he taught us a lot as a kid growing up. Yeah. Uh, Steve, Steve Butner was a, was a referee as well? Um, for your, um, for your yeah, we, we had him on the show a um, yes, yes. couple of weeks back and he, he told us about his illustrious yeah. career. A few people knew him as a coach, as I said, yeah. most people refer to him as cricket. But I mean, yeah. we, we knew him. The first FIFA referee, you know, but yeah. I don't think yeah. Jamaica really, real, real, you know, realized and give him that, that, that respect that he deserves, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So he said police would cover on it guns, but tell us about um, not on it gardens, no, not on it gardens, on it. We have you know on it in we are a team by in Montego by the name of Hornets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hornets. Uh, Hornets. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Is that club still around? No, no, no. It's you know, it's it's not around. I think what happened now, they they have a master league team, but in terms of the younger <clears throat> generation now. Yeah. So you're from West, you're from Montego Bay. I'm a from, I'm a born Montego then. Mountain to say yeah. that, you know, we didn't call yeah. us countrymen, which I think we were the first city. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah. So from Montego Bay, um, where did you go to high school? When, uh, I went to um, Mount Salem All Age School, and from mm -hmm. Mount Salem All Age School, I went to um, Senior School, which is St. James I right now. Yeah. And then I left to Clarendon College. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, from 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 Montego Bay to, to Clarendon. Yeah. <laughs> why why Montego that to, why that move? I to to, to go back now. I was an unruly kid. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Playing for on with Steve Button. I was an un, unruly person. I I don't take talk. Yeah, you know. And I will tell any coach anybody about you know whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then Steve Button was the coach, and he was coaching um Russies at the time. And. All of the players from Honest went to Rushies and he left me by the wayside. Wow. Yeah, because he was saying that he don't want me to come down by Rushies and, you know, disgrace him out, so to speak. Yeah. But the honest truth, I think he did the best thing for me. Yeah. He did the yeah. best thing for me. You okay, know, okay. When I, when I look back at the whole football, all of the guys who went down by Rushies to play the Casa Cup. All of them carried us went down the drain and when I when they came from school and all I hear them talking about is 
this girl what they do here and who said they, they don't go to class and all those things. Yeah. But when I went to Clarendon College, I had, I had to I kind of change my whole attitude of style of, of living, you know. Yeah. I had no family there. I had no one to cook to wash for me, so I had to be independent, you know. Yeah, so, so who was that kind of mentor for you down by Clarendon College? It was, was, it was me. I'm a self-motivated person, you know. Self-motivated, okay. Yeah, I'm self-motivated. I don't need nobody to really talk, you know. I'm a self-motivated. But when you realize certain things, and, and, and like now, not everybody can realize when they're going down the wrong path and can make that change. Yeah. And I, I realized that, you know. And because I wanted to play football so much, so so badly, I I, I, I took that, 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 that turn. Okay, so that, that passion, I mean, you, you got an eye opener for that when you went to Clarendon College, and I guess from there definitely, on. Definitely, definitely. After so Clarendon, every time I see Steve Button, I tend to listen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I was about to ask you what your relationship is like with Steve Button after all these years, based on your, your, your experience as a youth. Father, friend, uncle, you, you name it. Yeah. One of the best person. I, I still go back to him at times. I will sit and talk about, you know, whatever. If I have a little problem, I, I, I go back and talk to him. It's, in life, it's nice when you can find somebody who you can confide in, in fighting, you know? Okay. So um, after Clarendon College, what was next? I, I, it was straight into national representative for Jamaica or was cl- I, club football in between? I came that. back to Montego Bay and, and I played like two years for Arnett's, the same mm-hmm. team, Arnett's, which mm-hmm. we we went, we, we won the, the division Two mm-hmm. competition. I went to the to the senior league. Yeah. Went to the senior league. I played uh, one year with them in the senior league. Then I I went on to Seba United. But before that, I you know we I played for the Saint James. We had a Saint James All Star team that we played a battle of the city against Kingston and and and, and Saint James to see who which parish was was the what what the best players and dominant whatsoever you know. Just to prove a point, because then country people, a country baller, which they call us, wasn't getting an opportunity to play for the national team. Which year? Which, know, give us a like. Give which year was this? This was a, the year of the dominance from um, Boystone. We had Boystone then. Yes, we had Boystone at the time. Yeah, they were the, they were the dominant team at the time, as I as I can remember. Boystone. And most of the national players would have would have come from that same team, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, most of, when I went to the national team, I saw most of the boys from players there. So yes. they put on this game with St. James against Kingston, which the first leg, they, they, they beat us 1-0 down by Montego Bay. And then we came to Kingston and we, we, we beat them 2-0, which I scored, scored both goals, you know? Yeah. So club career, tell us when... The whole reggae boys thing started for you, cause we, you know, we know you as a national representative for Jamaica. Well, well 1990, 1982, I got my first call up with Casa Grande. He came from Brazil then, you know, and he called up a squad. I think it was in December to play a, a friendly against the Corinthians from the same Brazilians, you know. So when when they they picked up. It was 20 months, but I was I was left out, which all the players, all the players in the group was foaming. Even when three months ago, you're crazy. It, we must left for Tigo to tie squad, but <laughs> that's his decision, you know. Yeah. And I can remember Mark Lenford and Bram Bram King told me, Tiga, don't worry, one day you're going to leave Jamaica. And, you know, at the time I used to, to smoke, too, you know, smoke me like a spliff, you know. Yeah, and you know they, they took me point blank. T got after top smoking and all those things. I know, so believe me, I I I I took this guy's word because I, we have the passion for it. But I stopped smoking. I start training even harder, and that 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 same year, 1993, they call up another squad, which called Brown another squad. 1993, no 83, 1983, they call yes. up a squad, and from there it was history. Yeah. Was history. Yes, I guess you say you're a self-motivated person, and you knew what you wanted, and you knew what you definitely. had to sacrifice in order to get where you wanted yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because um, I really make some really sacrifice. I'm, you know, 
I told myself that I want to be the, the greatest footballer Jamaica ever see. I want mm -hmm. to have to be rich and all those things. To have yeah. wealth so I can take care of myself and my family. Um, you know, me the, the wealth part I, I you know, I didn't get reached that far. But in terms of being the best striker in Jamaica, best I don't think I I, I, I believe I I achieved that with Jamaica. Don't really give me that credit. Yes. Yeah. You know? Well. Yes, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we can testify to that one, you know, because growing up, I heard about you, but it it wasn't. It's, it's not like how we we talk about the Walter Boyd and and these other strikers, um, and Andy Lowe, and and you were definitely, I think, maybe, maybe even a, a more of a marksman than those guys, you know. There's something, I I I know for a fact, and people always say, "Tiga, maybe because you don't come from Kingston, you know, you know that you don't get that." People ever talk about me. It's like I don't even exist, you know? Yes. You know, you know, and I really laugh at times. You know, the other day I was I saw a, a thing come out in the in in the in the on the Facebook, the twenty best striker in Jamaica, the oh, yes. twenty influential player in Jamaica. Yeah. I see from Luton Shelton come right down and say, Whoa, whoa. And I know to myself, none of these guys were influential like me. Yeah. None yes. of them. Yeah. None of them. And if somebody cares. If Luton Chelton scored 35 goals, I scored 34 goals. Why am I not in that in, in that bracket? In that discussion, yeah. You know, yeah, and, and, yeah. and that's so you know it's very ridiculous. But then again, the the truth, the real people know the truth. Yeah. You know, because I yeah. know for a fact. No, you can't it, there's no star player right now that people going to watch in, in a Jamaica football team right now. Say boy, he can bring a thousand or a ten or a five thousand people. I know that when I was playing. For Jamaica, you could pack I a stadium. Everybody want to see yeah. guy. Everybody yeah. want to see yeah, yeah, yeah. And because I knew that, I I stop smoking. I don't drink. I don't party. I sex less. And I feel <laughs> hard. Because, yeah, no, it's my sound funny because I'm no, no, I, 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 I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Where I was a real professional because I know that if I don't score. For Seba cannot win. If I don't score, Jamaica cannot win. And those are the sacrifices yeah. I made. So, so see myself not, not achieving certain things from the Jamaica standpoint or the recognition. Sometimes it really hurts, you know? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. And, and, you know, Jamaica already, we, we have that problem here in a way. Even with the great Merlin Atty, you know? Yes. A lot of people tend to, to they, they, they just trouble. push her aside, you know. Yeah. So we, we, we understand yeah. we I, understand how the thing go. Oh. And, and even myself personally, I can attest to the naysayers because he's mentioned something on Facebook. I'm at Casey old boy and I saw a post on you know the greatest state tennis players that came through Casey. Yes. And I wasn't on the list. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay. But I guess everybody has their views, but as I said, the people who know, know. My problem is, you know, my problem is, is some, there yeah, are some people say they are bloggers and all this. They just go on if those just, just, likes yeah. or whatever. They don't, yeah, they yeah. don't, they don't know the real deep it, history about. Trust me, a, I a, know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, we know the naysayers, and I mean, we all have people like that in life. But as you said, to, for mm -hmm. a person you are self-motivated and you work so hard, I mean, I, just leave I, it all I, out on the field. Yeah, Check out this. When you, I, 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 I was, I, I was the first, so, so, so much I was so influential. I was the person who started Jamaica campaign in 1992. If I didn't score that one goal against Suriname, where would, where would us be right now? Nobody yeah. speak yeah. about it. Yeah. Nobody. When yeah. I watch after World Cup, they, they posted a big picture with all the players from 98. It's like, Everybody forget about me like someone might say, where's Tigat? So they'll find one picture, one little picture where I'm about 99. <laughs> I'm it, I'm, yes, I'm flicking it in there. When you yeah. have everybody else pictures, like, where's, you know, nobody knows. No, and they understood in Jamaica, nobody knows Tigat. Mm. Yeah. I'm not a person knows, that come out and I'm a flamboyant person and mm. make noise and make to be heard. You understand? Yeah. That's not me. And I'll tell you though something to Paul. Um, even the fact that I'm not saying the, the English bass players didn't help us like Robbie Earl, but these guys came like at the end of all the work. Everything. And I'm saying, and, and I said, is these guys are saw on posters? And I said, no, it's not right. Even, even the Black Pearl, 
You know, they yeah. get the, as much highlight as, as these guys who came at the end of the campaign, you know? Well, we are to blame. We are to blame. Of course, of yeah. course. We, we, don't see, we, 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 we stigma. I mean, I listen to all these reporters and the local and overseas. No, they haven't start them thing, you know, stop it. It's not yeah. local, no overseas. We are one Jamaican team. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Hey, wait, uh, okay, 90, when I was in France with the team, you know, I went to, to, to the World Cup with the guys. And yeah. What are these English players, them bad, them bad, bro, you know? But nobody <laughs> highlighted it. But as soon as local beast, as they say, do something, it's, in, yeah. it's, it's on the front page. So yeah, we are yeah. to blame. We are yeah. to blame. And it's a culture, I guess, you know, our culture with, in terms of foreigners and having a likeness to them. And then, as you said, the whole campaign of making it to the World Cup mm. and you know, putting them in the line, like, instead yes. of people who did the groundwork, and, I mean, they struggled and came up from the 80s, come straight up. I mean, I see where 1991, you won the most valuable player award in the Caribbean Cup. Top goal scorer, you know, and people 90, tend to forget these acc- accolades. 93, I was voted the best player in the Caribbean. Yeah. And I captain, I captain the all-Caribbean team to England. Nobody knows these things. Nobody highlights it. Yeah, yeah. If I don't talk about it, it's like, hey, it's, everything is like, whoa, eh? nobody, mm-hmm. because nobody but, knows the yeah. D- Did you have, I'm did you play a, professional yeah. football in Israel? For four years. For four, four years. Yeah. Um, tell us, tell us about that experience. I, I, I would say fr- first I went to, you know, I, I think I had a hardship first before I, I went to England in um, yeah. 80, 84, yeah. um, went to Derby County. You know, okay. then those, those days, the, 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 the prejudice and the racial was, was high up there. Yeah. So I was in Derby County. I was in the reserve team. We played about four or five games. I was the leading goal scorer. And you know, funny, the final, when we played the final, these guys put me on the bench for the whole game because, you know, a lot of scouts were there and, you know, everything is politics. And I, when I look back and I, in the community, there was a lot of black people Black players, even even I say better than me, and we realize, say, listen, whoa, Tiga doesn't make sense if you come here because even if you good, it's not. Oh, it is set up, you won't get a chance. So okay. I'm really happy right now to see how black players are dominating in the league right now because yeah. then, well, we have it, we had it hard, hard you know. Yeah, but it's a so racism it was high that time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Because I know I, I I could have made it in England. Then, mm. but I said before, you know, these coaches then they 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 they're so, they're so smart, you know, and the racial was racism was the big, 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 big. Mm. So to see Johnny Barnes and Lusa Brissett and those guys break some of those barriers, it's it's, it's good to it's, it's good to see. Okay, yeah. and that wasn't in Israel. They didn't have racism. No, 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 no. no. Hell no. No. You know, I spent before I went to Israel. I spent six months in 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 Finland playing for Kiffin. You know. Yeah. Yeah, playing professional over there for, for Keith. And then I came back now. I, I went to Israel for for four years. And it's so fun that when I was going to Israel, then Ale Matna was the the coach for the Jamaica team then, you know. And, you know, we had a little Kwam Kwam. He came on the radio and said he wouldn't send even his dog to Israel. And I can't <laughs> kick and I can't head. I said, Ali, let me tell you Ali. You can't, I can't kick like you. But we know me can kick. You can't head like me. I'm 100% sure you can't head like me. <laughs> yeah, because Alemon was a good kick at the football. Yeah. His technique was 100 times better than my own. But I know I can kick with both legs equally. Yeah. You know, so we had a, we had a little fallout. You know? So the year when I was going to Israel, he said, not even his dog, he was sent to Israel. You know, I, I just laughed. You know, I went there. I really enjoyed myself until the, the, the Gulf War, you know, really broke up the, the, my contracting because Mark Mendel, after giving praise, may his soul rest in peace, he, he was the one who incidentally sent me to Israel, you know, when I went there, I had a, a two-year contract, you know. Let me go back a little bit before, because Jamaica need to know this, you know. Yeah. All right, go ahead. When I was playing for Jamaica, you know, some of my foot was broken, and they, they, they leave me upon the wayside. It's so funny. Mm-hmm. He played against Cuba and my foot was broken and it was it was until the next morning that I had to see a doctor. Oh. You know, me, Alton Sterling, Kidaris, Dunkley died. And two girls from Camper down. I don't if if, if whenever they see in this video or whatever, 
tell them one day come touch by my shoulder and say, it was us, you know. Those two girls don't know them. They just stay with us until certain time in the night. Then they, they had to went home because go home because they were school girls, you know. Yeah. And they went to the next morning. They, they were, we had no one. We went to the to, to KPH and got my foot in plaster, you know. And believe me, I said before, and they have to take bus now back to Montego Bay. Bus. Bus. No medical bus. staff, nobody from the JFF, nah, nobody nah, at all. No. Yeah, you know, nobody was like, you know, next morning. Hey, I tell you something, we had it, we had it rough playing for Jamaica, you know. Because okay. we were sleeping up by in the national stadium, in the attic. That's where we that's where we slept. Yeah. Okay. Even two weeks ago, I went up there to look where we used to sleep. We mask it a bite like whoa. <laughs> you know, sometimes sometime yeah. we get like one two piece of uh, Kentucky for the dinner. And we had it. We had, but we love the football. Um, passion. We, we had that passion that every time they call for national squad, we would yeah. be there. We yeah. would be there. And we had this vision. So when we went to World Cup, it wasn't by. It, it was not coincident. Mm. The work, the hard work, the ground work. Something was what was in us. Mm-hmm. Some players fall on the wayside. Some of us still keep like myself, and you know, we stay in the squad and build a nice squad, you know. So even when Burton came in and those four English based players, they came and see quality mm-hmm. players. What even Rene said yeah. himself, he, he couldn't believe quality players were in Jamaica. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I think oh. that a lot wasn't mentioned of these players because we even had Hector Wright on Hector Wright on the show um, a couple Hector weeks back Wright, as well, and yes. Hector Wright was sharing the same passion that you are sharing now. And yes. what we see missing in the football and the culture of football in Jamaica right now. It is missing because what happened at we are looking quick fix. Yeah. Quick fix. 98 and Rene came here, you know. We were together from 1990. When he came 90, what? He came, he came 90, what? 94, 93. 94 when he came. But we yeah. were together mm. from 1990. So when he came, we had a new because he, as I said before, he said he can't believe. So when I we played two games again, Borussia Dortmund, one in Kingston and one in Montego Bay. Mm-hmm. And I would, well, they said that I was retired. So it took me out of retirement. Yeah. Yes, and we played two games, one in Moby and one in Kingston. We lost the one in Moby, one zero, and I scored the one nil against Borussia Dortmund in, in, in Kingston. Kingston. And he, he said, yeah. listen, mm-hmm. the program just started and he fly out and went back to Brazil and started the thing. But the, the fact of the matter, we had a core of players that understand each other. We're working in Jamaica. We're, we're, you know, we all think the same way. Mm. I think this, that's what missing you now. That's what missing. Yeah. We, we don't have a core of players that, you know, we don't call a national squad. You have the same players over and over. So we get to understand that, you know, they yeah, can come a few here and yeah. there. Yeah. You know? So, we, you know, we we might be saying that, yes, we have a Leon Bale, we have a, 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 a Nandi Low brother or whatever, but, Mm. If you watch here, the, the, the Spain and the England, these people have a system mm-hmm. where you can pick a player out to, to fit in their system. I don't, we, we don't have a system here but periodically to, to say we can say, okay, so what we need to do, get players together. I When I look at a, a Vassal, a Fletcher, a yeah. Meggy, a Marshall, just to me, name a few, a, 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 a Lama Walk and these little kids. Yeah. I think this way we should have, have, have started our program with these these youngsters, just like what Canada did with, with, with their youngsters, yeah. just like what America did with, with Beasley and Donovan then. Yeah. You know, but we, we, we keep thinking about quick fix. And from we went to World Cup, I think Captain Everybody forget how we went to World Cup. It's about, to me, I could be wrong. Four players. I, it's just the money. They just start thinking about money instead of building the program the, the yeah. right way. Yeah. yeah, the core players and the sacrifice and having yeah. the players together in a camp, as I said, yes, from definitely. Yeah. yeah, and that built the foundation to help it carry to yes. the work. We up. don't keep a national, we don't keep hey, when we keep a local base camp, it's like a joke because they, they might keep a local base camp, and then when the real thing comes, it's 15, 16 foreigners coming out. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. crap. Yeah, yeah, it's too much. So, too right much. away, people are cursing the local base player, them, but we are discouraging the local base players. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess the culture is different now because you have a lot of player, players playing overseas right now, or players playing all across Europe in the States. So that's kind of tougher for them now to, to have, a, have a system where mm-hmm. even though 
on international breaks, they should come together and do something because. But how, how, how about this, um, Kane? I'm, how about we, we, we have a system starting from the primary school level, the prep school level, and the high school level, even the club level, the youth level? How about like Jamaica coming under one umbrella, having a system? So even when these players go off and into international clubs, they still remember, they still have that instinct, um, the system that we had put them in from, from our youth days. Definitely. Listen, you think, you think if I'm going to quote England, you think I, England have a culture, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Italy have a culture, you know? Spain have a culture, you know? So any coach, coach or team have to stick to the, their, their culture. You might yeah. tweet it a little bit. Yeah. You understand? But you have to think about their culture. We have no coach. Every coach come at Jamaica, come at a different, this and come at a different. That. So it's like we're confused. Yeah, yeah. We need, we need, we need, we need a system. We yeah. need a system. I just say from grassroots coming up. So it's an inbound. This is how we're gonna play. We're gonna play run down the line, and that's <laughs> how we're gonna play. Yeah, so yeah. maybe J- JFF need to get all the coaches together and, and come to an agreement so everybody can be aligned in one one direction. You know, maybe, well that's the only thing I see because if. As Kane said a while ago, most of the players they play overseas now. You know, everybody have contracts. It's not like back in the eighties where most of the players were here. Yeah, you yeah. know, everybody's all over the place. So I guess it have to start from the JFF and the coaches coming together and and maybe get coming together, knocking heads and get a system in place, whichever way you want. Definitely, to play. okay. Number all of them. as a producer, want to see. Mm-hmm. Dancing, Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Let me ask yeah. you a question. When you're tired and you leave your work, where you go? Home, home, sleep. Home. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't matter where all these players all over the world go. When they come yeah. back home to Jamaica, you have to play our system. You come home to our system. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah. And we don't have that system. We don't Everybody have Everybody playing all kind of different football. Exactly. Come. Yeah. Exactly. It's more individualistic football than play a system where you know, all right, exactly. we're working with these players, playing through, going forward line and get to Tigat and Tigat score. Instead of everybody just doing their own thing on the field. Yeah, because most people right now, unless they got you know, if the younger generation, most of them learn football off a of TV, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Instead of putting in the hard work. Yeah, most of the coaches get, get lazy too because yeah. of the new system where we just follow the, the, the Pep Guardiola, the, the, the Jose Maria with us, so we find players to fit our system. Now, when I look at the Money Cup, D Cup, yes, you find a player to fit your system, it is good. But what about when he leaves that Casa Cup and Money Cup? Yeah. Because they don't coach them f- to develop them skill, so to speak, you know. They yeah. coach them for their system to win. So, okay, I win 25 money cup and I win 25 that as a club. So, after now, as a coach like myself, get them now. And they were the big stars, so to speak, in, in the premier, in, in, in that as a money cup. And you come to you, they say, whoa, most of them cannot control properly, they cannot part. Within yeah. the system, they are good. Outside of the system, they struggle. So yeah. this time, I, 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 I urge coaches again, spend time on the younger players, them, like, you know, over time. Teaching yeah. the prop, the well, right Paul, I've got to ask you one question, and it's been bothering me. You're a striker, you're a renowned striker, you have the striker's eye. Who is the best pure striker that Jamaica have right now, whether in the national team or not? Who is the best pure striker? Like, you used to be a pure striker. Who is the best pure striker now? All them struggling. It's hard to say right now. They're on, on the same. He's um, not even. Huh? <laughs> not even one name. I can call Paul. This when 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 when, when it's a striker. Yeah, man. Jamaica need a striker, man. We need a I goal like... rat. We used to call. I used to call your goal rat, you know, Paul. Yeah, but who, you are instinct. But I'm not the question. The who's good? the goal rat in Jamaica right now? I don't see no goal rat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I, 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 I remember. Him, 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 but it's true. Uh, no, I don't see no goal. I don't see no goal. Everybody, <laughs> listen. I play less with the ball. Yes. So, just like if, if you watch this guy from Man City near Holland. Holland, yeah, yeah. yeah. They play less with the Two ball, touches. but they find themselves in the air where the ball is supposed to go. He, he has an instinct. He has a positional instinct. Mm. But no, no this striker nowadays they want to be on the ball. They want to. They want to pass the ball. They want to. Mm. This. They want. They, no, 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 no. Mm. You know, Paul. I see you kick a ball in the national stadium. You kick it from the the left side of the field. From almost half line, you kick the ball and the keeper save, hit on the bar and save it, and you go and you right at the six yard box and kicking the ball against El Salvador. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> you kick the ball from half line and run it down. You I follow run it down. down the, the, the rebound. Yeah. So, so my point is, which Jamaican have that instinct? No, but I want to know. As I said, there's none. 
Listen again. If you again, saw that goal in, it's an incredible you goal. You know something? Most Jamaican don't want to play like Alan. Mm-hmm. Most no. Jamaican maybe don't want to play like maybe a Benzema or a record, a living dusty who, who yeah. find these. They want to be Neymar. They want to be Neymar. Or, you know, they, they want to be a Neymar or a Messi or a Christian Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. true. So or much or with the Anthony people. now. <laughs> you know? Find, find dangles and all these things. They, they, that's the whole problem. But you want that strike. I know. Listen, yeah. my job. My job is to f- create space to make to take chances. And that's what locked me right now. We have too much ball players. Yeah. Yeah. yeah too much oh, individualistic I'm, I'm, I'm players. Having it, yeah. I'm having it now even coaching, you know. Yeah. When I try to tell the player, listen, man, listen, if you're if you're a striker, be a striker. If you're a midfielder, you're a midfielder. Who can pass, do the pass. If you, you, have, you can score, do scoring. You can do both. Mm. Yeah. Any, any any young midfielders you see out there? Any young mid good decent midfielders that we can use? Listen, I don't remember the, I, I I don't remember the, uh, the, the school. They're, they're only number ten. I don't remember what school is play for in the money cup. I saw him a couple of days ago. I'm gonna find his name one of these. And and when I look at him, I say, whoa! If coaches could have go around and yeah. find these little talent, I I see next Messi in Jamaica right now. Do you not kiss him? I can't remember his little guy name. Do you not kiss him? school he plays for, you know? Oh, he's playing money cup now. Play if, if, if you could have go around and find the, those two little, little players, them, mm. and get them in, a, in one pool. Yeah. In one yes, pool yeah. and nourish them. That, just like I said before, America did with Beasley and Donovan, them. Yeah. Can you know, do it, you know, with, with, we are, we, we are not, we, I don't think we are searching hard enough for players. Again, we're looking mm. out the quick fix. Yeah, players from what, what about England, coaches Jamaican though, Roots. Paul? What you feel about um I hear we went to Iceland for the coach. You think Iceland is a good place to find a coach, national coach? <laughs> well, I, I I don't know about this coach. Well, listen, we need a coach, so to speak. And True. we won't we won't we won't invest in our coaches. Yes. Yeah. You know, to As send usual. them out. To send them out and you know, and even the coach, if they if they have money themselves or whatever sponsorship, I don't think they they, they, they want to go out go, go even they're scared too. Yeah. 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 So yeah. if you have they to go to support. Ireland to get a coach, just like we went yeah. for Rene. I I, I don't know wrong, but I think we have coaches here if they're willing to spend money with to go out for three, four, five months, whatever, England or Spain. And develop these coaches, you know. Who knows? Mm. Okay. Okay. But um, Paul, we're, we're out of time now. But before, just tell us a little about what you're doing now. Before we have to cl- close off the segment. Well, I'm 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 with Art Garden right now. As you know, coaching uh, my second stint. You know, we, we, we last last season we we came maybe a third, fourth year or something like that. You know, we fall short. That sends that one of our best player. We 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 had to sell him um Cephas. Which I thought was the best player in Jamaica then, and they haven't given him, give him a chance to prove himself for Jamaica. And when he went to, I think we, I think it's over by Russia, one of those places. They they call in, say they want him, and these guys. So we, we are doing things backward. Yeah. If you have a player like him, and we send him to you, and you wear, and all of a sudden you hear me doing this, and from a Premier League, he, he showed that he was the best. Player in Jamaica mm-hmm. for a long while. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I haven't seen that. You know, we did. We 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 we, we mm-hmm. just you know. But right now, I'm at Arnett Garden right now, trying to with some youths to develop the, these kids, mm-hmm. and, and we're trying to win this Premier League. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, Paul. Good luck. Good luck to you this season, and um, I want to thank you for coming on and yeah, man. The time you guys take care of your know. football experience. Yeah, man. And as I said, we, we, we thank you for taking the time out. We can see where you have the passion and the players from Yeah, man, man, anytime. I just want to big up. I want some last four so, come uh, up. That was a, yeah, yeah, man, sure. Go ahead. Big up my family, my wife, Barbara, yeah. Crystal, Netanya, Paul. And last yeah. and not least, and Jamaica. I'm going to Jamaica. Stop to the crime and violence. <laughs> yes. 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 You said the right place, yes. Paul. Yes. 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 Yeah, T-Gat. Enough right. respect. Yeah, man, thank you. Sure. All right, All right. Bless a, up. a true professional. Stay. Stay. What you have to do and what it takes Stay. to become a legend in the sport, as he said out right there, he had the mindset to put forward. And a lot of people now don't no, know. No, we're not live. We're not live. Sorry. We're not live.
think we are now. Okay, three, two, one, live. Yeah. I mean, that was an interesting interview with Paul Tigat Davis. The great one. The great one. I mean, legend in his own right. And I mean, should be mentioned more along with all the greats that passed through and wore the Jamaican Reggae Boys t-shirt. And I mean, scored a lot of goals for Jamaica. And I mean, in his club career. And as Macaulay said, a gold rat on in his own right. And I mean, he showed that he was dedicated and had a lot of passion for the sport. And we spoke to the likes of Carl Brown, um, Hector Wright, yeah. you name all of, even in other sports. And to be a top level professional, you have to have passion and dedication. And discipline. And, and, and discipline. One of the things Self-motivation. That, one of the things mm-hmm. that you would have noticed, you know, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. We, we, we need to cherish mm-hmm. these guys some mm-hmm. more, you know, we need to recognize them, you know, yeah. at the end of the day, people want some form of recognition for the work that yeah, they did. To put in um, hard work. You know, the, the, the word of colors and the, the, the perform for the country. And you I mean, know, it's, with it's some... Up to we, we the people, to yeah. cherish these guys, you know, to, you know, give them some form of uh, acknowledgement. Yeah, and they know? did it under some excruciation, excruciating circumstances. Exactly. You no, know, it's kind of a better rose type of thing in terms of when you compare back then to now, I mean, and, sleeping and in, in those quarters. Exactly. I mean, no stadium. medical staff and you know, you're injured, you get a little knock. Mm-hmm. If you get treated to right away. And I mean, you love the sport, passion. Yeah. yeah so we kind of take for granted nowadays where things are kind of buttered up. Easy. Easy, yeah, easy street. And I said, uh, yeah. we ta- what? strong times. We develop how, what am I saying? But yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but, but again, why, why, why aren't these guys more involved? We, we spoke to Hector Wright, mm. Alan Skill Cole. Alan Skill Cole is regarded as maybe one of the greatest um, Jamaican players. Mm. Why, are, why aren't these guys more in, in, involved in the national setup of politics? You know, it's always a problem. We heard from Alan, we heard from. Well, even you look on a smaller scale, even table tennis. Well, Exactly. Look at what we are around. So is it a culture problem we have in here? Yeah, is it, it is. some form of but what, what people fight against who who fight against who and, and, it's, and it's everybody don't come together? It's not helping yeah. because yeah. these guys have the experience, mm. you know, they've been through it even in, in, in the tougher tougher mm. times and even now. So they, they probably know more mm. detailed things than even yeah, the ones that are coming up now who have it a little bit easier. And then you know, ex- when you experience the yeah. you, you learn way more than when you and you experience know, on the pitch says exactly. a lot. Exactly. I mean, a man like Hector who played a lot of matches, Paul Tiger, they've scored yeah, a lot of goals in Jamaica. In the system. I'm I mean, in the system, but we have a coach from Iceland now. Yeah, right? I, I tell you. I, is that fair? You know, that, that's a question. No, I mean, there's nothing but, wrong with getting a coach from there, but I'm saying players like these are coaches that you should be incorporating in the program. Why not yeah. use our own? We have so, these guys have so much experience. Why are we not using our own? And they're willing to share what they have, the knowledge. Skill Hector call, right, skill call, call all they, they all want to be a part of the national setup. So what is all of them have a, a, how much caps for Jamaica? Yeah, exactly. crazy amount of caps for Jamaica, and they're not in this in and around the system where you can develop youths like you, and also learn from your mistakes, the pros and the cons of being a professional. Exactly, how to work hard, what not to do, the problems. We see that even with Franklin Rose the other day in the cricket. Same thing. In the Same cricket. thing around. I mean, he why saw where he Mike, made mistakes. Mike holding, why isn't Franklin Rose? Why the Lars? Why yeah. some of these guys? There that, must that be some valuable system. input. Look at Shanda Paul, who want to become mm. the head coach of the West Indies. You don't think Shanda Paul, who, who won for Talawas, want, want to become the head coach for the West Indies? I'll be in right. the system to give their input and their knowledge, but hey, I don't know what's who in the administration? Like I said, who, who run yeah. things? Yeah. People yeah. who just want... I mean, is that the more shine? Eh? They want to shine because <laughs> I think that people who didn't have a career or people who didn't do anything around sports want to be involved in sports now and they probably make it in business and then venture now into sports and they do have the knowledge about sports so they bring the business side to it but yet still and, and keep down the real experience. You, people know, you know, as the great ones, I mm. wish Todd have a happy birthday. This is a quote uh, from Todd, yeah. You know, <laughs> a man with an experience is never at the mercy of a man with an argument. Yeah. 
you know, that's a big quote from from Mr. Tan. Oh, right? I think yeah, he learned he, that from me. I think he learned <laughs> that from me. Because he, he likes, so to, pick, he he likes to pick arguments with me, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I have the experience. I'm a I'm a country <laughs> puntis, as you ah. say. <laughs> but I, I think it's time now for sports ah. commentary, controversy, boss. Your time. Take it time. Well, um, greetings, everyone. <laughs> Very good to hear from Paul Tigat Davis. I, I think you guys are onto something. Jamaica have a wealth of individuals with experience who want to contribute to our locked out. Uh, we, we, I always wondered, you know, why the management is reserved for some people. It's not reserved. There, there, there seems to be a ceiling that prevents an outstanding player from contributing. That don't happen in Argentina with the football team. Doesn't happen in Brazil with the football team. It doesn't happen in table tennis in China with the table tennis team. Mm-hmm. Um, they seem to use people who have experience to coach their teams as opposed to other countries which kind of create some kind of academic thing and then those academic people or business people tend to run the sports. But sports coming today is going to talk a little bit about how sports are organized. Um, I don't know anybody who watch uh, lawn tennis would have noticed that lawn tennis, there's an international tennis federation and there's also a, a what they call it? A ATP, Association of Tennis Professionals. And, and now, why is that? Why does that exist? It exists because lawn tennis, like many other sports, used to be governed by a body of administrators and so on. And the players, the players after a while, start to realize that, hey, we can make money out of this. So they formed a thing called the Association of Tennis Professionals, and they started to dictate to their governing body who must make money and who must make money. And therefore, that is why the result is that lawn tennis players make money while other sports, I'm going to tell you about other sports how they're organized, don't make as much money. Table tennis, for example, was run by an association called the ITTF, administrators all around. And these administrators, you know, continue to become and they traveled all over the world and you hear the president gone here and the president gone here and all this kind of thing. But there are no real superstar table tennis players. The reason is that while lawn tennis players got together and formed the tour, and dictated to the, their body how they want prize money to go and so on. It's like unionizing. The, the table tennis players did no such thing. Most table tennis players just want to play. They're good boys. And the administrators tend to just run administration. There's going to be a bookend to this statement, too, you know. But my point is that, um, so the ITTF, which runs table tennis, formed a thing called, uh, what's it called now? I don't remember. They formed a, t- a, a, a body to run, run, run table tennis to deal with marketing and tournaments and all this kind of thing. Um, they decided how the prize money would go, how the sponsorship would go. The net result is that many years ago, there was something that took place where the president, Mr. Adam Shahara, president for life, was quietly deposed because of some shenanigans that went on with the money. And so they, they, they closed down that body. That was doing the, organizer, the organizing. They didn't want to lock up Mr. Shara for the $20 million they couldn't account for. Yeah. $20 million US, um, which is typically what these kind of guys are making. Football have a similar situation. However, table tennis now form a new body called the WTT, which is trying to put money into the sport. Same sort of scenario. But again, it is not player-based. The difference in lawn tennis is that it's player-based. It's agent-based, like football. Where the footballers make money, we can't deny footballers make money. And, and the administrators of football make less money. Table tennis, which don't have that kind of structure, is the administrators that make the money. Um, I won't go much further into it than to say that. But the, the next biggest ripoff in all sports is the Olympic Games. You know why the Olympic Games is the biggest ripoff in sports? Olympic Games makes a lot of money from television rights. How much money do you think the athlete who goes to Olympic Games makes? 100,000, 20,000, 40,000, they make zero. So what the Olympics game basically is, it's very similar to slavery, where the people doing the heavy lifting make no money. You understand what I'm saying? The guy who used to doing that pole vault and doing that jump and do, showing that shot put makes zero dollars and zero cents. The people who are running it, um, uh, the managers and so on, make a little bit more. And the people at the very top, they seem very wealthy. They seem to travel around and all this kind of thing. Look at any Olympic committee, whether for Jamaica, whether for um, St. Vincent, whether for Guyana, and, and ask yourself, how much do the performers make? There's a Guyanese guy who threw javelin almost world record. There's another Guyanese. What Grenadian. Grenadian guy. Mm, yeah. 
How much you think he made? Made nothing. I'm sure his president did better than him. Um. So the next thing we want to discuss is um. Why is on table tennis still on table tennis? Why is Mr. Ken Watson, oh. who is sitting right on my left here, not going to the Panams games, which kicks off tomorrow? The Panam Table Tennis Federation. Ken Watson is a decent guy. He hasn't broken any rules as far as I can tell in table tennis. <laughs> and he qualified in Cuba. I was there with him. Did very well. He qualified for the Panam Games. With, with another, one of the girls, uh, Salisha Young, also qualified for the Panam Games. Granted, there's an impasse between probably the GOA and the JTTA because Simon Tomlinson withdrew from the Cuban games and therefore didn't go to the um, Commonwealth games. Um, and I wonder if there's some bad blood between the GOA and the JTTA because I believe that uh, Mr. Watson should have gone to the, the games. I believe that um, he had been training and preparing himself and did well in Cuba. And uh, it's, as, it's sad that there's no statement as to why he has been omitted from entry. And the same thing goes for the girl. I think she's a prospect as well. So something is wrong, eh? Speaking of something wrong, there's a Chinese table tennis player beat a fellow player in the 16s in the WTT tournament in um, China uh, last week. So the guy takes his racket and tucks it into his pants and does a little dance and, and makes a cheeky gesture. And the Chinese ban the man for the rest of the year. Chinese very harsh, you know. Um, a couple of years ago, another player, young player, promising player was doing well. And he was frustrated in the game and he threw his racket on the table. People do it all the time. And the Chinese association says, for your insolence, we are banning you for almost a year. That player was Wang Chu Chin. Wang Chu Chin is the single most promising Chinese junior now. I'm sure you guys will all agree. And he was omitted from the team just for that gesture. Well, he's back in the game again, you know. There's a big finals going on tonight where um, Mr. Harimoto has been playing very, very well. Harimoto game has improved. I could write a paper, I know his game has improved. Harimoto used to lose to Europeans, beat up all the Chinese, spent the last summer having failed at the Olympic Games. He went to Europe to train with Mr. Uh, Dima um, and, and these other players. He's playing for the same club as Dima now. And I have noticed his game is improving. His middle game is much better. His counter looping has gotten better. And he's in the finals now. In the other semifinals, Wang Chu Chin, who we just spoke about, um, showed his promise by beating the greatest of all times, Ma Long, beat him 4-3 in the semifinals. And now the two will meet in the finals. It's a scintillating matchup because Harimoto beat him in the team events a couple of weeks ago in the world teams. And I'm looking forward to see what adjustments Mr. Wang Chu Chin will make in playing against Mr. Harimoto. Going to be very interesting. Um, so, you know, I'm usually right every time. <laughs> But last week, I was wrong. Why was I wrong? Yes, yeah. Mr. Oliveira in UFC 280 was fighting against Mr. Makachev. And um, I thought Oliveira's jiu-jitsu was good enough to, 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 to overcome the wrestling. Um, but he got struck by, by Mr. Makachev's, um, you know, uh, right cross. And he lost his, his balance. And as a result, when he went to the floor, which he went to the floor a bit too easy, he went to the floor, uh, to the ground, and allowed um, himself to be trapped in a triangle choke. Now, you couldn't catch me in a triangle choke because I am always looking out for the, um, the, 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 the Kimura. So I defend against the Kimura, and then, and then the hand was extended. The triangle choke, you know, he was trying to do a rear naked choke, but he got the triangle choke, which compresses this nerve here. Watch me, guys. I'm teaching you jiu-jitsu. Yeah. And he's, he, he eliminated in a triangle, and to my surprise, Oliveira quit. I, as a jiu-jitsu expert, we don't quit so easy. He should have put his hand against the, the arm, pressing the nerve, and tried to turn and, and, and get some air and then fight his way out. Conor McGregor gave up so easily against um, uh, uh, the other wrestler there. And, and, and so, you know, I was very disappointed in Oliveira. I thought the Brazilian fighting spirit would have, would have seen him through. To lose the man with the most submissions, the best jiu-jitsu man in the entire UFC, to lose to to, to a, a, a simple triangle choke, which later on I'll show you guys how to escape the choke. I was disappointed. Nothing to look forward to now. I've been looking forward to this fight for a long time. Next big fight, Adesanya. 
the last style bender goes up against Alex Pereira. Why is this interesting? Two times now Pereira knocked this man out in, in, in other fights, you know, not in UFC. Two times he's knocked him out. And, and as you know, Adesanya is a big star now. How will Adesanya face Alex Pereira, who have a very imposing record? I don't know what the answer is. Um, just one small fact about um, the football coming up. Where is it here? The World Cup? World Cup coming up. We, these guys are going to go through and give you their, their thing, and I'll give you the correct brackets later on. But my, my, but my, 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 my money is going to be on Brazil. I have done all the numbers. I've run the computer programs, the software, the algorithms. Brazil will, will win the World Cup and will win quite easily. Brazil has a man to play every position. They have two goalkeepers, the two, two of the five best goalkeepers in the world on the Brazil team. Um, three of the five best right side players, three of the five best left side players. Man in the middle, who, you know, is, is one of the five best players on the planet. And so Brazil have a delectable team. But that's sports commentary. What say you? <laughs> We're running a lot of programs and algorithms. Yes. I wonder if him do that with a jiu-jitsu to yeah. carry a, a jiu-jitsu algorithm for me. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was controversial right. boss, never yeah, short on controversy. I'm a sports commentary. I don't produce. I don't even know where to start, but yeah. hey. Yeah, we, we, we can touch a little bit. I, he made some good points in terms of the administration and the players. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I would side with him with that one in terms of the money. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, you know yeah. my stance on the money. Already. Yeah, my money off for running in sports. Sports yeah. is a business. Yeah. Money yeah. off for run. You know, Definitely. And, and, and in all pro sports, to be a professional, well, there has to be money. The, the word it's is not, professional. It's, yeah, it's, it's not yeah. amateur. So if you're a professional, you expect to, to get yeah. paid at whatever yeah. you do. It's not... That's, that's what you do every day. Mm -hmm. You know, you expect to get money. And please do remember the phone lines are open. one 552 7406 And that's via WhatsApp only. I'll repeat it again. one 552 7406 Feel free to call in. Speak on any sporting topic. I mean, yeah. hey, phone and, lines and, are open. And we, we have this argument on Facebook. All the time about yeah, the dominance. Yeah. The domi no, the, we're, we're switching over to a little bit. The dominance, but it's still related. The dominance mm. of of China mm. over the world in table tennis. Everybody's all mm. Europe is closing the gap. They've been closing the gaps for thirty years now. Mm. If if you get my point. Mm. And the real problem is is the money. Mm. That is the real problem. Mm. The real problem is the money. You will never China. You, you can't break that dominance if you don't Inverse. increase the money. Because Europeans, they, 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 they're not going to play table tennis game. Yeah, to that. A little kid not going to take up him racket. The most talented youth is not going to play table tennis in Europe. I mean, uh, well, a lot of them. You'll have one and two here and one there. Or, but but you, won't have, talent, yeah. you won't have output the year mass. after year after year. You'll have a team of boy here and there. You'll have a Walner. You'll have and guess a Walner kid coming up and like Charles. what when you have one. It's him against... Him against, Asia. him against Asia. You understand? So, so yeah. it, 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 in Africa, un, un, same un, one. Until the ITTF. South America, same, same one. Until the ITTF and even our Caribbean. Table tennis is the national sport for China. Exactly. So, so you're getting the talent. And then their system of mm. government is different. Very really different. They, they're taking care of athletes from their mm. five, six, and seven yeah. years yeah. old. They have a you different understand? program, a different system. Different mindset. Where the, the West now. And even, even competing well competing against all, all mm. other sports. Why mm. would a kid take up table tennis versus trying to play in all those football leagues all across Europe? Or, or the NBA. Or basketball. Yeah. So the dominance will, mm. for my Facebook friends, the dominance will never stop mm. until yeah. the money is increased. Yeah, can you imagine playing a second tier football in England? Yeah. The amount of money you make a week. Yeah. Versus. Why the hell would an African? And you then to pick up the there are larger numbers. Um, of people playing. You know, I, I don't know if I agree with you guys. You know, let me tell you something. Yeah, talent yeah. manifests itself in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few. I don't believe that because I could have been a great goalkeeper. Yeah, um, means that um, I could have also been a great violinist. Mm -hmm. And so the talent to play table tennis, which requires something special, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't mean that I could be a great basketballer doesn't necessarily mean that. So in China, you will have some kids who have a, a predilection, a, 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 an ability to play table tennis. And, and, and they don't have a choice. They're just good at it. Mm -hmm. So I am saying that in Europe, 
They, if you look at the LeBron brothers, mm-hmm. they, I don't think they could probably play any other sport. Uh, uh, Fanjin Dong could probably do ad- acrobatics. Well, why, but why did they play table tennis? I believe that they grew up in a table tennis family. Yes, Christopher yes. Legwood. Uh, is their uncle? Family. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, that's, that's they grew up in a table. The game has always mm-hmm. been around them, and mm-hmm. they turned out to have extraordinary ability. Mm-hmm. And and so you get them in a club, and they find their way up to the top. My point is to you, no. I get you. my point is to you. Yeah. Why why we don't have any Africans playing table tennis? I think that. Um, there's a shortage of tables in Africa. Hmm. Uh, no, I mean, there's a resource kind of thing. They're, they don't have that many tables in Africa. They don't have many examples of African playing table tennis. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just not interesting to them. Okay. You know, like- yeah, maybe it's just not interesting to them. I, I'm just saying, mm-hmm. there are many reasons why some cultures, like the Chinese have a culture, which they're very detailed mm-hmm. people. Chinese will sit down and watch table tennis, you know, and they understand the artistry to it. Let me tell you something about table tennis, unlike any other sport. You see, like how, and, and, and there's a reason why I'm drawn to jujitsu as well, which I will explain to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Table tennis is the one sport in which Kane Watson can beat me today and I can beat him tomorrow mm-hmm. because I sat down and I said, I'm not pushing long to Kane Watson back on anymore. It is a sport that is so much like chess that if you go through and, and come with a proper tactical approach, the man who you thought was better than you a week ago, you can beat him next week. Which is why the match with Harimoto and Wang Chu Ching gonna be interesting tonight. Yeah. Because it is the sport in which, and, and this is why I play the sport. If, whenever I lose, you know, I don't sleep, you know, I go to and say, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. You know what I mean? He's, you're not gonna beat me the same way twice. Mm. It is that sport. Um, however, in athletics, if Mr. Bolt Runway left you Today. last week, he will run away <laughs> leave you next week. There is not much you can do. Yeah. I, I understand your point. And, 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 and I'll tell you something, you know, that's why it's so exciting to be a coach. You're a coach. Yeah. It's exciting because many it's times I... as well. Yes, and there are ways you can work out. Carl coming in. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Prime Sports. Good afternoon. One Prime. One Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Producer. Well, you're a wise man. You're a wise man. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. This whole money thing, this, this money and sports, it's about culture still. Because when I look at China and, and all these sports in certain countries, it's about what they learn and what they have, they have grown up with. China has grown up with table tennis. You will never beat them until you spend money. And the problem is that. Until, you, until you do what? Until you do what? what? Until they spend money. So when you take what China has, carry it to the West, and tell the West that this is the sport you go, they have to spend. They have to spend. Spend, spend what again? Spend money, right? The, pro- okay. yeah, the problem The problem. now is where the persons in the West, they are not accustomed to the sport. They don't like the sport, but the money is there. So what they do? They go and play it for the money. Which sport is that? And you get the money. So Which, they're not really interested in the sports. They're just going to for it, you know, but the money is there. Which sport are you talking about? Table tennis? They can't say they can table tennis. Mm-hmm. Oh, you give me an so example. Okay. Yeah, there's no real love for the sport like that. that okay, I get your point. Because yeah. the money is spent there, so they will go, they will gravitate. Sports these days is about the money. Just like football, and think I say it. But, but um, in Jamaica, in Jamaica football, they, there's no real love for the sport. You, you always say they, there's no love for it. In national team, there's no love. They're not playing with passion. There is love, but love cannot last. All right, I, I want there's to There is love, but it cannot last. Okay. There has to be a balance, too. There has to be a balance of course. between mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. love for the sport and the love for the money. You have to try try strike a balance somewhere. And that's the problem I have with sports nowadays, too. These players are not playing for it. They are always say, even the NBA. Yeah. Cut the contract. Play for your money then. Uh, because clear. some of them they get injured, they still get paid. They don't care. My, my, they, they should I, still my, get my, paid my, my, still. My thing, my thing is this. Why you where the talent come from? mostly where where talent come from is is normally from um poorer areas or poorest countries. That's where you get most of the talent from in for sports. Yes? So, yeah. now tell, just tell me, why would a, a kid 
why would a parent of, of a child that is that's that's not living a certain type of life why, why would they um endorse or force the kid into playing a sport where there's no light at the end of the tunnel exactly 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 if, 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 you will never find a kid what's the if I, was in Euro, if I was in Europe, I'd be playing football. <laughs> if you're looking at the continent of Africa. Okay. The, the continent of Africa, though. I think that has a, that probably the most talented region in the world, in my opinion, based on how they grow and the lifestyle. I would do, you, only, you only have two players, two players alone that play table tennis in two. So why, and, and, would, why would an African kid take up table tennis over football? At, at, at seven, at, table tennis is a skill sport in it, a sport that you can learn the skill. I say handicap people reaching top hundreds, and it's, it's, it's a skill sport. So you don't, you don't, you don't even have to be that super talented. You don't even have to be that super talented to make it in table tennis. It's about structure and training. So they will never pick up table tennis until, until. They have a look for it, you know. You have to have their look for something in order to. The sport isn't visible in Africa. The sport isn't visible. You can't love something that you don't see. Uh, hold, hold on, Carla. Carla, Carla, hold on. I don't think you're hearing me. Hold on a second, Carla. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You cannot love something that you don't see. That's impossible. If you don't see it, you cannot love it. It first has to present itself in front of you before you can have a look for it. It's the same thing happening with cricket. The kids them won't love cricket in, in Jamaica because they're not seeing it. You can't love something you don't see. How is it, how that work out? So, so, it's the money is corrupt in sports because persons are not. Come on, money yeah. is good, man. But there's pros and cons to, to everything. Look at, look at, look at, um, but sport is a way of well, life. Well, I want you to West Indies cricket team because I, I have something ahead. to say. Let me hear one. West Indies cricket. The players are not doing for the love of the sport anymore. Are they not striking a balance between the love and the money? They literally really playing for the money. They want to go here, show themselves for the T20 into recognition and then move on in life. And then you are trying to incorporate a T20 player into test cricket. They don't want to play that. They want to play T20 where the money is. So why is that corrupt? It is corrupt. It is corruption. It is corruption. No, no, no. It's it. It, it is. It is. I agree with you. No, of course, we agree that it is corrupt in sports. Yes. Level, but what I'm saying yes. is a balance. We have seen players. We have seen athletes. We have seen that new athletes. They come. They show their talent. They are making it in sports at a younger age. And when they reach a level of fully professional, most are 60%, 70% fall along the wayside because the money is, they, they don't want to tell them It's not there. The love is not there. They get the money and then they move on with life. Well, I, I don't know. I, I think if I, if I had a choice between a job that's going to give me $1 million a year in comparison to a job that's going to give me $100 million, I'm going to go to the 100 million. It's as simple as that. I would never play table tennis if I was living in Africa. You think LeBron had a choice in becoming a great basketball player? LeBron James? Yes. Yeah. All right, one second. Hold on, hold on. Wait, O'Neill, I want to hear this. Look at T20 in the West. Until Alan Stanford came and said, I'm going to introduce this. Nobody thought of T20 in the West. Until Alan Stanford came and said, I'm going to introduce this. I'm going to introduce this. No, it's a global team. Yes, it's good for the sport. Jo on a point of reference, that Alan Stanford match was a T20 or a 50 of us match. I wasn't here at the time. You, you guys would have. Because they're not used to that. They don't know how to, to, to spend on that. So you will find the biggest investors not spending cricket, spending money on cricket in the US. They will go to baseball, they will go to softball, they will go to NBA because that's where the money is. That's where the numbers so are. The numbers, the numbers, yeah. And money, so money is everywhere. Money. Yeah, numbers bring money in a Mo guy. So money is everywhere. To play the double NBA as, as compared to the NBA and persons are not willing to spend on the double NBA. No, because the I NBA don't have the double NBA, don't have the numbers. Play a double NBA match 
which are NBA match. I just split the proceedings. Just, just split the why match. though? Why? Why would you want to do because that? That's, that's the only way you can get. You think so you're like boys and girls champs? You're right. trying to have a union. So we know what is <laughs> in, 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 in life, in general, in Jamaica, but then, when you want to get a product sell, sold in Jamaica, you have to marry it to another product. Okay. Marry sports. Put them together. Interested. <laughs> I, 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 if, if you, if you mix, if you mix, you have to play the last yeah. But the only way you could get me to watch that, the only way you could get me to watch that. <laughs> All right, Onil. All right, Onil. That good point. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that a little bit more. Wait, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, what you saying, Peter, about LeBron? If LeBron, I have a question. Us, if LeBron I have a question. Could LeBron have played football NFL? No, it's too clumsy, too no, ungainly. No, no, he was a footballer in high school. Yeah, yeah, but, research, grow, yeah but grow to seven, research, grow to like, seven foot down. Oh my god, where am I gonna do? Six nine. Yeah, 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 could it be a grunk? Yeah, Way I better. don't see it. I don't see it. Way Way better. More more I think, no, I can't see LeBron sprinting to go to. Peter, I know your yeah. point you're trying to make. Let me yeah. explain something. You have some sports that are skill sports. I agree. Based on skill. I agree. That is more physical. Like track and field is more physical muscles. Yeah, yeah. You bond with certain gifts mm. and it's easy. But table tennis is a skill sport. So my point is with table tennis that I believe that almost anybody, if you train them from a young age, five or six years old, I think they can become world class if you have them in a system. You think Brian Lara could have played lawn tennis? Lawn tennis requires certain physical action. Precisely. That That's, my That's, my That's my point. That's my point. That's my point. Some sports are more physical. So no, no, no. Some sports demand a particular frame mm. to yes. do it. Right? Exactly. Exactly. That's the bottom line. But not table tennis. <sighs> not table tennis, Peter. Table tennis is a technical sport. You can be tall, you can be short. But not too tall. You know, most of the best players are my size. You know? <laughs> 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 yeah, but, 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 but my point is, guys, I, the dominance cannot change until the money increase. That's just the, that's just you have reality. to the numbers. That's well, the well numbers. I'm going to tell you something. You know, I think you're living in a futile world because can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. Pe the, it, people want to watch what they want to watch. So all sports starts with the, not participation, but yeah. spectators, mm -hmm. the king, what's running all sports now is television, yeah. right? So if you take a poll, what do people want to see is 70% football of course. Yeah. and maybe 1% netball. Nobody wants to watch netball mm -hmm. and therefore the money goes proportionately to where pe what people want to see. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No point. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because sense. in India, Strange enough, believe it or not, people want to see cricket in India. You know, you know Indian That's people so don't strange. watch football. They don't want to watch football. No, Indian good. people say, what the hell is this you bringing on my TV? <laughs> they don't want to see any other sport. They, for some reason, they under, they like cricket. Let them have it. I, I don't think it's for some reason, Peter. I think you should leave it to you the Indians. Watch people, you, know? you don't know what market marketing is all about. My brother, <laughs> people in the Caribbean no longer want to watch cricket. It's exactly. too painful. Exactly. It's too painful to watch. Why are we watching it? Yeah, exactly. You think I want to go in my yard now and watch the final four? There's no West Indies in the final four. It's Virat Kohli and, and what other one named from Pakistan and all these people. It, it's, it's now become a subcontinental sport. Yeah. Leave it alone. Let it run. <laughs> I want to... Well, we'll ask this. <laughs> this a little, we'll stick on the cricket, but I, I heard something over the week. Uh, well, apparently this was a part of um, some criteria in, in South Africa. Yeah. That they must choose six non-white players at all times to represent South African cricket. I've never heard this before. Uh, I that, can understand where it was is, coming is from. That, is that true? It, it's it's a kind of affirmative action to but, correct but, but, historical imbalances. But that's but, what it do is. Do you think that, that's the right <laughs> route? Because no, I don't think so. For, for example, now, I, I heard, that, well, we, we all know the stats of the, the, the captain now, who's underperforming. This, this but Dale, 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 let me tell you something. Because of skin color. Dale, Dale, so. Dale, there's something you have Very, to understand. Yeah. You can, if we start from an even playing field, yeah. then it can be a meritocracy. Yeah. But if we start off with embedded bias, yeah. racial prejudice, and we have... 100 years of history behind it yeah. you have to make a corrective action so you can't just start at zero you know you have to start with a little plus mm -hmm. on the other side to balance it back
So when 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 you tell that done, at what point in time? Because I think it's getting ridiculous now. This is no, no, no. I can't be the, the manager of that. Okay. What I'm trying to tell you is that oh. if you have a team I that doesn't fine. look representative, I, yeah, yes. If you have a team that you need to to think there, then you you have to balance it up because otherwise you're sending a social message. What you, what is what do you think about that, Kim? I think it's incorrect. It shouldn't be the case. But but but, but then apartheid was incorrect too. Apartheid, apartheid was incorrect. No matter and, and to correct but, but apartheid. Both of them wrong then. Because no, it's no, both no, wrong. you're selecting a player no, <laughs> based on merit, mm. but based off a of color. So isn't no, that, that shouldn't be the case. racism? Not really racism, but mm. isn't, isn't that a similar situation but in the opposite direction? It's not that tricky a question for me, you know, because <laughs> maybe because yeah. I view things in a historical perspective. Okay. Uh, I, I, I am improving because I recognize that yeah. history mm -hmm. history dictates that we correct this imbalance. Mm -hmm. And so it's gonna take that kind of affirmative action to correct that imbalance. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, in America, you know, where the universities are full up of white people. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna get the black people in? You have to set quotas. Okay. They wouldn't have allowed black people to get tertiary education. Okay. I think, I think, no, how long ago this is this, this I, I think it's no that it But the problem is, you know, slavery lasted a very long time. Okay. The Englishman came to, to Jamaica um, three, 300 years yeah. and enslaved the people. It, mm -hmm. it took less than, than, than 60 years, take less than 60 years to correct that. Okay. Oh, uh, and I'm and, and seen as I'm on this note, I'm calling for reparations. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth never gave us. So King Charles, King Man, <laughs> reparations. <laughs> I think it should be selected based on merit though. No matter based what, you make the runs, you, you get the wickets, yeah. hey, yeah. based on merit. What? But I, but I did you guys I mean, see the statement from the president of the West Indies? You, you guys saw the statement? No. What, you know, so. Um, he basically said he would launch investigations and blah blah and so on, oh. and he accepted the resignation of Mister uh, what's the name of the coach, the coach West Indies, Simmons, Simmons mm -hmm. and so on. But he, he, at no point in his speech, or in his in his document, did he refer to looking back at administration. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that you guys blaming the, the, the West Indies board a little bit too much? I don't think so at all. Uh, don't you think that the, the individual countries have, have, a have a role to play in terms of the development of the cricketers as well? I think a board like the West Indies, uh, is it still West Indies Cricket Board of Association or is it Cricket West Indies now? What them call themselves? I think it's still WICB. You sure it's, about that? I'm not sure. But okay, so if I'm the board of control of a sport and I pick up a trend, I'm going to nip it in the bud or fix that trend. That's why you're there, you know. The that, yeah, territory. there's a reason Mr. Skerritt get to fly that big Learjet and, yeah. and all that kind of thing. He's supposed to be thinking ahead. And if you see that the players don't want to participate in local leagues, they don't want to honor the local calendar because they're waiting on the opportunity to go to India. Find some way of aligning your objectives with those players. Yeah. That 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 um you, you go to the players, gentlemen, we're not gonna have any competition because India have them thing going on. Mm. In the off season, our thing is going to go on. Something like that. Okay. Find a way to dovetail your objectives and you'll have success. What if something is always going on? You need to make the, the board needs mm. to make a decision how to do it. The Indians have found a way to align their calendar. Of course, of course. The Indians don't have any problem with test cricket and thing there. Yeah. Them integrate into their calendar. Yeah. We need to do the same. Mm. The problem is that we stick our head in the sand and when things are going on, mm. we, 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 don't, we, 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 we aren't reactive. Mm. There are too many sports administrators, except the one that came on last week, too many sports administrators mm. traveling all over the place and doing this and doing that mm. when they should be fixing their house. Yeah. There's too much travel. Too many tournaments, every tournament, president gone, vice president gone. You know what I mean? Court, national coach gone. Uh, <laughs> player yeah. sitting right here. Player sitting here. <laughs> yeah. I think your book should have more stamp yeah. and there should have less. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. That's not the case though. People well, well, going well, to administration well, well, to fatten themselves. Yeah. And they're also going to politics to fatten themselves. Yeah. Have you noticed how our, all our politicians have a problem with the neck? Fitting in the shirts, no? <laughs> They're all getting fat. <laughs> They're getting too fat. Jamaica politician. Pockets. They need to have come up. You know what would be a good diet? The politician's diet. Find a way to make these politicians lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be no way. Uh, all except Lisa Hanna, though. Lisa, call. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ken, we know you're supposed to be at the Pan Am Games, but that, that's yeah. kind of a separate situation. Yeah, you care to say anything about it? I, sports commentary, I heard wow. it on sports commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that tournament kicks off on Monday. Yeah, I qualified for that tournament through the Caribbean Championships. Yes. 
uh, me and Solisha Young, but weren't you on the plane? I hear there's no funds. No funds in the Jamaica Olympic Association. That sounds suspicious to me. No funds in the JTT. It's not the JTT supposed to pay for you to go to Panam Games, boss. Is the JOA? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's a combination of both, but um, if, uh, for the most part, it is the JOA. For mm -hmm. the most part. So most why part. would the JOA, who is quite prepared to announce last week that they're sending scholarship out to X okay. amount of people mm -hmm. and all that kind of yeah. thing, mm -hmm. and they're quite, I mean, I bet if there's an ice hockey tournament in Florida tomorrow, there are three JOA people on that plane. Mm -hmm. they, they is that true? I, I, I can't comment on that, Peter. Well, I can't comment because this is primal sports, and we can talk. Can talk. You want to talk? Yeah. So I'm saying, I have no doubt they have the money. Is is he? Is the young man being spited? Um, spited that's, by that's, who? That's, that's another question. No, no, um, because Simon was the JTT to connection, mm. and I'm seeing it as yeah. the, the, the 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 backlash mm -hmm. for that. Is well, is he I'm being not. unduly punished for something that he had nothing to do with? No, I, I I don't think so. I think it's just an overall problem with um with JOA with most and most of the administration mm -hmm. that, that controls sports. It's a major. An athlete issue. qualifies for Pan Am, mm -hmm. and and we don't have the money to send the athlete. And you are telling me I think that's an excuse um on the JOA part. If if that if that was listen, you be careful what you saying. I don't have to be careful <laughs> enough, but you no, be careful what you saying. No, no, I, I think I think that's on um JOA. They, 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 I find all that is funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's, 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 it's a history of things. It's a history of things. If you look at the, the, I want to tell you something. You know. Sports in Jamaica, I, I see it going in a negative direction, and, and it's mainly because of administration. Four years ago, you think if I qualify for Panam Games, think I would be there now? You would certainly be there. Of course, you. you Why do you think I would be there now? Um, maybe, maybe. Maybe the JTT and maybe GOA, they, they, it, it, they were aligned in, in a different way. That, ah, okay, okay. I'm just saying and this is why, because you're the current coach, you have to be careful what you say. Let yes. me say what, what, what needs to be said. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. No, but we're facing a big issue. It's not just... Do, uh, the, listen, the, listen. Even with, let me ask you a question. Okay. If I... All right. Let me... If Simon had gone to Commonwealth Games mm -hmm. um, and gone to... To Cuba, mm -hmm. would not Simon Cain and Solisha be heading to Chile? Right, no. No, I, I can't I, I can't tell give you an answer to that question. Why well, you can't get the answer to that no, question? Because I don't know. What? Based on based on what it's I all, been, we're assuming. Based, based, what do you think? We don't know in the World Cup, but we're gonna make <laughs> What do you think, big man? What do you think? I'd definitely be on that plane no, going. Based on, yeah, based on, there, there you go. Based yeah. on what has been happening over the past two years. You can't say definitely that you have been. All right, let me just point out to you, Dale. You know why most, why many relationships fail? Many relationships fail because people don't want to say we have a problem. Mm -hmm. It's like you and me have a problem, but we don't want to say it. Yeah. You say there's an issue. It's yes. the elephant in the room. It's the yeah. elephant in the room. Yeah. So the elephant in the room is let's discuss this impasse yeah. between the uh, clearly mm -hmm. that uh, what is keeping this man from having gone. Can I tell you something? If we were supposed to send a uh, umpire there. Don't the umpire would have gone? Umpire's probably there. That's my point. Did you know that in if you if fun that trip though? I don't that, know. I don't know. I don't know. That would be I don't know. Yeah. You have to be correct with what yeah. you're saying. Okay. That umpire traveling would be from the ITTF. That yeah. would not have been. Um, and you realize that was just an example I raised. Okay. Yeah. No problem. So the, but 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 the point I'm making is yeah. that we would have found the means if our premier player. National champion, you're a national champion? Yes, four times. If current, our current, premier current. player <laughs> and national champion mm -hmm. has qualified for an event, which is the next level, yes. and he's prevented from doing so, mm -hmm. should he not have had a memo or at least a phone call? You got any of those things? I got a phone call saying oh. that there's no funding to go. From where? Who would normally pay for that trip? I don't know. But the JTT has no funds. But in the past, trip. when you have gone mm -hmm. to Panam, I've never been events. to a Panam table tennis championships before. Any anything that is associated with um, CC games or mm -hmm. Olympic um, thing is geo. Correct. Is no, that is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything that is an extension and a feeder to the Olympic mm -hmm. Games yes. is paid for by GOA. Yes. Don't you? Yes. And once you qualify, those funds are are not only to be found; they are there already. Yes. Because the money don't come from Jamaica man pocket, you know. Mm -hmm. It come from the IOC ultimately. The IOC funds all activities, so, so and that's why you don't get paid when you go Olympics. Yeah. yeah. 
So because it's part of the money structure. So obvious, there's a disconnect. Yes, yeah, so um, something wrong. There's something is keeping. Right now, so yeah. The, the I think. I think um, because I do have a manager right now that is also stopping me. My manager is now retired because mm. usually Simon Thomason is the manager for me and him both. Yes. And most of these. But had you had you that we go on is yeah pushed by me understand me understand and and and, and, and his being his his, his mm. impasse should not have spilled over to you though he should have somehow cauterized mm -hmm. or isolated that thing from from bleeding onto you Is you understand? Is, Can you still an active player? No, but but Peter, you're you're talking as if you know that 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 is to be true. That that that's the situation. You're, you're speaking as if <laughs> <laughs> very <laughs> controversial. <laughs> the the controversy boss really speaks of things that yeah, he yeah, doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you put the coach in a, in, a, in a tight spot there, but I mean. It is what it is. We know that there's a problem. And, and I don't know there's a problem, but there, there's, a, there's problem. a problem. There's a problem. Uh, there's a disconnect. It would pass and who, who is going to suffer for that? Why can't well, I suffer for that disconnect? No, no, no. That me want to know. No, no. The people always suffer. People are the players. Whether the players, whether the people, whether the, the, Which people? The, the people, the people, the people, whether, so like whether, whether, whether not we're talking the about people? sports. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I have player. seen, I it's have seen, politics. Uh, but it, 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 all right, all right, true, leave all true. the joy, you know, let me go to the JTT. Uh -huh. A man has qualified for mm -hmm. games. It's at the highest level. Well, two minutes wrap. This I have seen the JTT throw itself at the public mercy to send nine-year-olds to St. Lucia. Yes. They, they have to thrown, Guyana. yeah, and yes. or oh, and even to Guyana, yeah. they have thrown us out. Probably, yes. ladies and gentlemen, we have some promising little nine year olds and ten year olds who we want to send on a trip, yes. and that trip takes place. And the public might even intervene and throw in some money. There are businessmen who might be running companies who, if they got a letter saying that our premier player has qualified, help him out. Yeah. Those people would have been able to find a little thing and a little thing to help that man. Player. And Two yeah, players, they, they one male, one yeah, female. and an association that didn't even make that effort. One player, one female. Hold on, hold on. One male, one female. 100% agree with you. Thank that, you. That yes, statement. yes, yes. But here's where I, I disagree with you. Yes. A guy in a trip for the, the, the nine. Uh, no, 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 no. That's unfortunate. You're gone to no, 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 no. <laughs> they, You know, look, no, look no, where you're no, going to know. No, no, no. <laughs> each team at each level, whether it's cadet, senior, and junior. Mm. They were given an opportunity this year to participate regionally. Mm. So they had to they had to send the, 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 the other nine team. Is so that they games? Sent the senior team, the cadet, the junior team were had to send the other nine team, or, or else it would have been unfair to them. So that's is that, why you had that public um is that wait, games wait. a qualification for any other games? Um It, it was supposed to be a qualification for the Panam games, but the Panam the games. The juniors I'm like, talking about. Yes, yeah. it was a qualification game. But, yeah, but, 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 but you have to look at it this mm. way. You give each team a chance, region. Ah, uh, excuse me. To excuse qualify. Me. No, 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 but let's no, not get it twisted. Let's not, wait, wait. We participated unqualified. Can, can I agree with you, but, but I'm, I'm just saying mm. to Peter here that they had to. You, you don't, you don't. Can I tell team. you something? No, they had to. They My had brother, let me point out something to you. Let me point out something to you. The national team of Jamaica. Yes. There's only one national team. It's an adult team uh, or junior team. The, the, who are the best four players in Jamaica? Yes. It's Ken Watson. Yes. It's Simon Tomlinson. Yes. Myself. Yes. And a long distance away, whoever is third or fourth, yes. right? Yeah. That's your national team. Agreed. The other things are recreational, participatory, disagree. Disagree. curry goat. Let's move on. Disagree. Boiled potato. Because I disagree. I disagree. Yeah, I disagree. Look I disagree. here. Look here. And if you come level, and tell me, there is not every level. No, there, there, there is one level and that one level is ruled by one person he's called the king, the king and 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 after that the king there are other the people. Yeah. <laughs> the king of the Lord. But, but my point is junior is sports <laughs> is junior sports is good but let me tell you something about junior sports because i do little kid karate in karate everyone gets a trophy so when little kids come home and they all have a trophy that's kid nice for kids man I but don't come and try to compare the two things you know no, i see I a man i see a man right on the internet <laughs> oh we're really good at a level we must stop putting money into the senior games and putting yeah. That no, you what you do understand that yeah. that is Mickey Mouse thing, mm -hmm. that is curry goat, no, no, that is nursery rhyme. You need every, you need every, you need no, that's levels. not part of the level, yeah. that's not part of the level. Yeah. That so is we'll, a, we'll I'm sorry, that yeah, yeah, listen, man, that's a joke thing. But it's unfortunate <laughs> that 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 happened. Unfortunate the, is the word, yes, it's unfortunate. I, don't, I don't think unfortunate. You is know the what, word. them do, Ken? <laughs> they have divided table tennis now. Mm -hmm. Senior table tennis is treated like under 11 table tennis, you know, mm -hmm. and in fact, under 11 tennis is treated better. Mm -hmm. No, 
they're not the same thing. Mm. One thing is nursery school, prep school, <laughs> kindergarten. Yeah. It's development. Well, it's PhD. It's, 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 it's PhD. It's, 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 it's PhD. Yeah, all yeah, right, cool. We'll 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 we have one minute. We have one minute. <laughs> we'll probably have to go over time today. Well, mm. All right, we'll have to move on to the World Cup real mm. quick. Um, all right, just yes. a breakdown. A quick breakdown. Ah, uh, World Cup, two weeks time. Starting yes. November 20th. And in December 8th, 18th, sorry, December 18th. And I mean, we never see a World Cup without mishaps, any big tournament without yeah. some big names going out early. And we see the grouping, and most of it seems a bit straightforward, but who are you having as a big upset first round? Before we break that down, and I mean, in further shows, we break it down more, but starting this show off with the big upset, which big name team you think will not come out? You think it's Brazil? Because. I mean, no, of course. No, 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 I, 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 I think this, this World Cup, all the names will, will qualify. Straight through, straight, straight yeah, forward. In, to the round of 16. To the round of 16. Yeah. So you have Netherlands, Senegal, Group A? I have Netherlands, Senegal. I have, I have Ecuador. You have Ecuador, Senegal. Yeah. I did for that. I wouldn't be upset yeah. either yeah. which way. Yeah. But you have Netherlands top in the group. Yeah. Group B, England, USA? Yeah, England top in the group. But they're my favorites for this year, World Cup. Wow. Yeah, World Cup of football? Yes, well, okay. England? Are you USA coming second? Special that's gonna happen. You re, you're watching yeah. too much British press. Wow. They're, they're, they're not as good as the yeah. yeah. doing yeah. for the and Queen. You look at you look at wow. half, you look at everything. I, I think it's gonna add up. To so you have England, England, USA stuff. Um, one more minute. It's touchy. I I I would go with I would go with Wales. England, Wales. Okay. Yeah. I have England, USA. I have Wales Netherlands. Wales over USA. Argentina, Mexico. Group C. I have those two. That order, yeah, that's that's fine. All right, group D, France, Denmark, yeah, yeah, group E, Germany, Spain, or Spain, Germany. Oh, the, no, this is a group where I think uh, I'm going with. Uh, I'm going with the, the, the you team. have two minutes of wrap it up quick. Next Japan. week, we go I'm deeper. I'm going with Japan, Japan, Japan to top the group. <laughs> no, not to top the group. I'm, I'm going with an upset, all right? Yeah, okay, so who's topping the group? Spain? I give it to Germany. So Germany and Spain is out first one. Well, there's yeah. a first big upset. I have Germ- Germany, Spain coming out. Germany top in the group, Spain coming second. Germany. Where's the Portugal? Germany. You haven't called Portugal? That's the last group. group okay, H. sorry. I'm group sorry. F, I have, this is my upset. Croatia top in the group, Canada coming second, Belgium out first round. Nonsense. <laughs> I have Croatia, Belgium in this one. Correct. Uh, yeah. uh, Brazil, Serbia. Yeah. I yeah. think that will follow suit. Yeah. Yeah. And Portugal, South Korea. I'm going with South Korea. I'm taking the Asian team. To with, top Port- the group? with Portugal second? No, not to top the group. I, I think they will... Co- yeah, Portugal, so- South Korea. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm going with Uruguay and... And, um, and Korea? And so, yeah, and Korea. Okay, so, so Portugal, Portugal out, will not come out of the group. So yeah. you have Portugal out first round and Spain out first round. Yeah, I'm going with the Asian team. So. I have Belgium out first round. Belgium. Uh, yeah. I was going to say Brazil first round, but I'll leave that till closer to the tournament. Because I think Serbia will go deep in this tournament. Serbia. I think Serbia is a tricky side. Serbia, Denmark. Serbia has a, a good team, good core. And I always I'm, play well, doing it. And I mean, yeah, two I top strikers, Mitrovic, Volovic. So, yeah. All right. So next week, we'll select the quarters and the semi final bracket yeah. then. Yes. And we'll break yes. down more. All so, right. Yes. Well, guys, you know, the time flies. Yeah, man, yeah. Man, we, we didn't even get to touch on the football. Um, producer over here debating about table tennis, <laughs> yeah. but it was a good show. And I want to thank um Paul Tiga mm. Davis for coming on Primal Sports mm. today, shared an in, uh, interesting um experience um in football. Yeah, yes, yeah. I thank him. T- um, he took the time out, you know, a busy schedule and. You know, a great interview. interview. Yeah. I mean, as you know, we're, tr- we're trying to get to all the greats, you know, because, yeah. uh, you know. So, no, when is my interview? I need to sit in that. Text <laughs> I mean, I in okay. <laughs> but, yeah, last score update KC up eight, love in the 57 minutes. Wow. I mean, take I it mean, easy. Yes. Uh, I mean, the difference of feel, man. Yeah. Difference of feel makes. So, we'll talk more about that next week because the first leg was nil all, and then now you see a contrast now where it's eight, love. You show. I mean, we need better fields in Jamaica, but That's true. Casey should be on to the next one. I don't think Jose Marty will flick that eight love lead and come back. So, yeah. yeah. Looks like a, a W. Yeah. All right. So, same time, same place next week. Yeah. Primal is vital. Yes. Show must go on. Thanks to all our listeners, viewers. I mean, from the Primal Sports Decks, one love. And who's up next there? Oh. DJ Gaddafi. <laughs> Afrobeats. Working overtime. Yeah, Peace out. Usual. All right. One love. <laughs>